Hi, this is uh, M.M. Lohani. DNA, chromatin, chromosome, gene and allele. How all these are related to one another? Let's find out. Dear students, DNA, chromatin, chromosome, gene and allele. Some of my students showed uh, confusion between these terms that is how they are related. So I thought of making this video and try to show how they are related to one another. So first we shall start with uh, the DNA. DNA is a deoxyribonucleic acid which is found in the nucleus of a cell. It is a genetic material as it carries codes which are uh, transcribed and translated into a specific protein. Anyway, uh, so let us try to draw first a DNA. You can draw the DNA uh, by uh, holding two pens like this. Very easy to draw hold them tight and draw the DNA and now draw the nitrogenous uh, strands so this is the DNA which is found in the nucleus of a cell in the nucleus along with the DNA there is a specific type of a protein is found which is called as the histone proteins Actually, there are eight histone proteins bundled together. Here you can see only four, whereas another four are on the back side. So these are called as histone proteins, which are specifically found in the uh, nucleus in association with the DNA. So these histone proteins, uh, I'm going to draw the histone protein here. Of course, they are a uh, Four in number. So here what will happen? The DNA, now I am going to draw only a single strand of DNA. Think that it is a so the DNA winds two times around this histone proteins and again it will go to bind to another histone protein. Okay, so like this, there are so many histone proteins which bind with one another. So this association of a DNA with the histone protein is referred as nucleosome. And this association of DNA and the uh, histone protein that is the nucleosome will make the DNA to appear in a beaded structure. This beaded structure is the chromatin. which is found as a beaded long beaded thread like structures in the nucleus of the cell so this is a nucleus this is chromatin So the structural units of a chromatin are nucleosomes. So therefore what is a chromatin? It is the association of a DNA and histone proteins. DNA when it binds with the histone proteins it will make a long beaded thread like structures that is called as a the chromatin. Now we shall move to the chromosome. See. In the nucleus, the chromatin has formed a very entangled long thread of chromatin network. So as a result, during cell division, it cannot easily move to the daughter cells. So for that purpose, cell has to bind it in a specific way or in a specific form so that it can be transferred easily to the daughter cells. So for that purpose, these beaded structures that is the nucleosomes again they will make or they will bind with one another they will wind with one another making a very complex structure like this so these are all the nucleosomes which are bound with one another so this complex structure is uh, referred as solenoid 
which will again form into super solenoid model and this will continue and they are ultimately formed into the structure what we call as a chromosome these chromosome now are very easy to be transferred from a mother cell to the daughter cells this particular shape of the chromosome is visible in the metaphase stage of the mitosis so it is called as metaphase chromosome just revise dna along with the histone protein is called a nucleosome model these nucleosomes are joined together to form a beaded string like structure that is called as a chromatin then chromatin the solenoid models uh, they will uh, uh, rejoin rebind what we call it uh, as a condensation so they will condense to form uh, the chromosome so i think first three uh, terms are clear to you in metaphase stage you find four arms of the chromosome that is four chromatids this is because the dna has replicated itself so that the centromere will divide in this fashion and uh, each chromosome will go to a particular daughter cell so after division of the centromere the chromosome they will appear in this fashion with the one two chromatids and a centromere now say we shall take up this particular region we find a thread of dna right it has coats or it is the segment of dna that controls a particular trait or character this is referred as gene the segment of dna that controls a particular trait is called as what gene now say this is the gene for eye color right so whatever the color may be so this uh, the gene which is controls the eye color in nature genes undergo mutations and they will produce alternate forms of same trait these alternate forms of the same trait are referred as allele gene it changes into means it undergoes some mutations and forms allele so these alleles will add variations in same trait it is very important to find the relationship between allele and the gene because while studying the mendelian characters or mendelian inheritance that is tall and dwarf round and wrinkle green and yellow all those characters you have to identify uh, understand what is gene and allele so here eye color is a gene it may produce different colors that is variations which are nothing but a alleles like a brown color or black color or green or a blue so these are the genes itself but they will express alternate forms of the same gene so therefore they are called as alleles here is analogy to show the relationship between the gene and the allele i have taken this 1 rupee coin this is a gene compare this to gene whose value is 1 rupee so it has two faces head and tail so if i spin it it may end up in tail or it may end up in head so still whether it is a head or a tail still it is a gene of 1 rupee itself but it is a alternate form of 1 rupee so similarly the gene in some cell it may give brown color means it may have allele of brown or a black colored similarly 
while discussing about a mendel's laws uh, you will come across the height of the plant height of the plant is the gene so it will have two alleles whether it can be a tall plant or a dwarf plant so these are the two alleles of the height you can say alleles are the different expressions of the same gene okay dear student friends i hope it is now very clear about uh, the dna chromatin chromosome gene and the allele so that's it for now hope this video is useful see you next time with a new video on a new topic till then keep enriching your knowledge thank you very much